Uh, good morning. Uh, our lessons continue. Welcome back from, I hope, was a nice, wonderful, restful Easter break. I hope you had time to spend with your family. And now that you're back, let's aim to finish the English year with good grades. We're going to be doing five and six together. We're going to start five today. We're going to start with noun phrases and articles. I'm going to share both videos in our notes. And I'll send this one to the WhatsApp group. Articles, as you can see from your unit's content, is a part of this setup. So you can speak, you can write and record yourself using these forms. But I'm starting with the articles first, because as you take a look at noun phrases, which we'll do deeper next week, you'll notice that almost all the noun phrases will include an article. All right? Now, articles are divided into two types of modifiers. There are the modifiers that go for specific things and the modifiers that go for general things, all right? I'll also share this little practice activity so you can do it after the lesson as well. And then next week we'll tackle the noun phrases and the relative pronouns that you can use as substitutes, all right? So we'll do these two today and some exercises. Let's start off with the definite article. When you wanna talk about something in particular, something definite, and you are looking at nouns, which is people, places, and things, we can use articles in front of them. Now the definite one, the, can be used both for singular and for plural. Right, so you can say the boy and the boys, the book, the books, the girl, the girls, the table, the tables, right? You can have it at the beginning of sentences, you can have it inside the sentences, you can have it after prepositions. And now there are particular times when you use the. So let's look at some of those. Monica, start us off with use number one, please. Uh, they say we use the when we know who or what it is we are what I'm talking about. Uh, they use the... No me have it, Let me Let me move the cameras one second. Let me move this box up and I'll let the cameras disappear. Can you see it now? Yes. Uh, we use the to indicate something or someone in particular. Associate is called the definite article. We speak of something concrete, something that both the speaker and the receiver know of because it has be, uh, been referenced earlier in the conversation or because it's something previously known to both. Examples. What is the name of the restaurant? Do you remember the day we went to New York? Who is the president of the United States? The doctor is very good. And I think, let's see if there's another example below. Good. All right. Number two, I think after Monica was Michelle. Michelle, help us with number two. Uh, two. We use a definite article with uh, geological regions, geological, geological regions, mountain chains, uh, seas, oceans, Iceland groups, rivers, and countries in plural. Island groups. Island. Island. No S. Island. The S is mute. Island groups. Ah, island groups, mm -hmm. rivers, and countries in plural. Uh, examples: the United States, the Netherlands, the Andes, the Atlantic Ocean, the Canaries Island, the Island, island sorry, uh, the Nile River. Perfect. Right. And after Michelle, I believe it was Ariadna. Ariadna, help us with the next one. Yes, number three. 
we use the to make reference to direction right, left, top, between of the cardinal points, north, south, east, and west. Examples, the sword of friends, the house of the left, the top of the page. Good. Right. And after Ari, I believe it was Laura, Karina. Help us with number four. Um, with superlative adjectives and ordinal numbers, we also use the definitive article. Examples, the tallest building, the strongest man, the first time, the second flow. Good. Now, of course, those are the reasons to use them. There are some things that we should also consider, right? We don't use them when it's general. We don't use them when we're talking about general things like TV and meals, days of the week, months of the year, the seasons in the year, the years, or the hours of the day. We don't use them when we're talking about institutions or transportation types. We don't use it when we're talking in general. We stay away from general city names or places in general. Um, so we won't be using the with those items, right? Let me let in Valeria as well. However, sometimes we need to remember that we might not need the article at all, right? So in these sentences, I want you to take a quick look at it and tell me, should I be using an article, an article to make it complete? or no article, right? Look at the sentences, remember the rules we just practiced, and let's choose an appropriate word to complete each sentence, All right? Let's start with Daphne, number one. Um, I go to school every day, exactly. no article. Perfect. Number two, Gabriel. Uh -huh. They live in the United States. Oh. All right. No, article. No, this one has. Why does this one have? It's a country, and there are multiple countries that are united. You have the United States, United Mexican States. You have the United okay. Arab Emirates. So we have to be particular with this one. We're particularly talking about our friends just beside Mexico, the United States of America. Okay? Okay. Repeat. They live? They live in the United States. Good. Carla, we have two spaces. Which one is particular and which one is general, Carla? Sería... Mm, Love your birds. Remember? Mm -hmm. The hotel we love it in and New York. We don't need anything for New York because New York is a city. All right. So for cities, we remember the rules. I mean, go back and run through the rules again. All right. We don't need it for cities or the names of streets we don't need it for modes of transport or institution we don't need it for tv or days of the week or times we don't need it for things that are general we will use it for the superlative adjectives and the ordinal numbers references to directions and the cardinal points specific rivers, island chains, oceans and seas, and geographic regions and mountain chains. We'll also use it when we're talking about someone or something in particular. All right? Okay. One more time. Do you remember the hotel we loved in New York? Okay, do you remember the hotel we love in New York? Good. 
Valeria, hopefully you got a, a good idea from the recap I just did. What do you think we should use here in number four, Valeria? Do we need an article or no article? Um, children watch. No, the Good. children watch TV after school. Perfect. All right, and Monica, back to you. Number five. Es pues sería igual, igual, ¿no? Do you like coffee? Exactly. Not a specific brand of coffee, but coffee in general. And yes, coffee is lovely. All right, let's continue with some more practice. All right, Michelle, this one starts with you. Uh, that is the restaurant, the restaurant I like best. Good. Ariadna, number two. Um, this is the Pacific o Ocean. Correct. Make sure nobody's stuck in the room. Good, good, good. Laura, Karina. Uh, put your name at the top of the page, please. Correct. Daphne, number four. He goes to work every day at eight o'clock. Perfect. Number five, Gabriel. My parents watch television every night after dinner. Good job. Carla, number six. I love the chocolate. All right. The specific chocolate? Or chocolate in general? Mm, specific, no? Which brand? Camarca. Ah, okay, okay. No, entonces sería sin el de. Sería, I love chocolate. Exacto. Igual como hicimos en otro ejercicio con café. Café en general. Chocolate en general. <laughs> I love chocolate. Repeat. Okay. One more time. I love chocolate. I love chocolate. Right, Valeria? Um, she's the tallest girl in the class. Yes, yeah, she is. Monica? I go to school by bus. Good. All right. So that's the definite, the particular basic article. Now, what if we are not talking in particulars? Then we have this other one. All right. Now, when we use these articles, we're generally placing them before our nouns to help us to show some sort of reference. Before we were looking at both singular and plural, but we we're talking about a particular one. Now we're talking about things that are not so particular. So our focus first of all here is, when do I use a, the indefinite article a, or when I do the indefinite article an? Well, the first thing to remember is vowel sounds and consonant sounds all right now in english we have 26 letters five of those letters are vowel sounds a e i o u all right now those are the names those are not the sounds so a a a e e e E, 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 O, 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 and U. All right. Now, those sounds are easy to find, but sometimes they can trick us. Let's start with the ones that we already know. Michelle, number one, consonant sounds. What do we use? Um, I is used with nouns that begin with a consonant. Examples, a book, a pen, a chair, a girl. Good. After Michelle, I believe it's Ari. 
Yes, number two, we add N uh, to the article for nouns that begin with a vowel. An animal, an ice cream, an example, an orange, an umbrella. Good. So we notice the sounds. They're pretty clear. Ish. English is famous for exceptions. And here, the main exception is sometimes a word, a word will have a letter, but that doesn't mean that that letter will create the sound. That's mostly because of the combinations we have in English or the root of the word. Now, the first exception is with the sound of vowels. U and EU can create the sound U. Both words, I believe, are Greek in origin or Latin in origin. So they are sounded not like vowels, they sound like consonant. A university. Not a university, like umbrella, but a university. And not a AU, but a U, a Euro, a European. All right? So when you see these words, use a for them. Don't use an. Exception number one. Exception number two. Silent H. Most words in English will have a H sound. H in English sounds like hot, hop, hospital, right? That's a H sound. That's a consonant sound. But there are some words that have a silent H, like in Spanish. So our, honest. Those words will attract the vowel-facing indefinite article an, an hour, all right? So try to remember those when you are pronouncing them. Let's look at the rules. Laura, number one. Um, we use the indefinitive article when we are speaking of something in general. He has a comp Peter, he works in a school. I want that. I want a orange. Good. All right, Daphne, number two. We can also use a, a or an in place of one singular. I want an apple and two oranges. There are hundred students in the school. Gabriel? We use a or an when we make reference to something for the first time. The next reference we make, we use the definite article. Example, I live in an, I live in an apartment. The apartment is big. Good. And Carla? With professions, office, and um, political Affiliations. Affiliations. We, use, affiliations, we use the indefinite article. Maria is a doctor. Juan is an architect. 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 I am a, I am a Democrat. Good. Right? Now let's practice. Start with Valeria. Number one, Val. Let me scroll down. Should we mm. use a or should we use an? He goes to an uh, and no and an university in California. Porque no vamos a us usar. Ah. Uh, porque está la U, bueno. Este U debería llevar an. 
Ajá. ¿Pero qué sonido está haciendo esta palabra al principio? You. You, exacto. Y sabemos que Y es consonant, no es vocal. Entonces, because of its consonant sound, you, we will use a, a university, a university. Okay? One more time. He goes to a university in California. All right, Johanna, hope you're catching the rules. Number two. Can I eat an apple? Of course. Monica, number three. Uh, there is an excellent film at the cinema. Okay. Michelle? Uh, can you give me an example? Yes, I can. Ariadna? And the train will arrive in an hour. Correct. Let's continue. Over here. All right. When should we use the a uh, versus when we should use an? All right. Let's go with Laura. Um, what is the name of the hotel? Good. Daphne? She works in a hospital. Good. Hospital. Gabriel? I like to eat apples. Perfect. Carla? New York is in the United States. In the United States, a geographical region. Number five, Valeria? Did we lose Valeria? Are you still with us, Val? Go ahead. I am a Republican. All right. Number six, Johanna. We go to the supermarket on Saturdays. Good job. Number seven, Monica. He has a red bike. Number eight, Michelle. Mm -hmm. I want an orange and two apples. Good. Ariadna, nine. Um, her father is an architect. And number ten, Laura Karina. Uh, we live live we in live. a house. The house is small. Good. All right. So that's the first set of practice. As you go through the different bits of content, you will be able to practice them with different activities, creating your folders. The forum is already active. So as soon as you complete your work here, you can upload your forum. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. I'll be having some virtual office hours for the rest of the month. So I'll be online here in the Zoom room every morning and in the afternoon. I'll let you know the exact times and you can connect and we can review anything you need. Remember, the year is winding down, so you want to make sure you get all of your exercises in and take advantage of all of the opportunities. I'll see you next week. Until then, do take care, enjoy your Saturdays and stay safe. See you soon.